Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, Cultural and Character Backgrounds. The author of the poem is known only as the Pearl Poet. It was written in Northwestern England around 1370, and the language of topics indicate that the author was most likely familiar with French, Latin, the aristocracy, and the medieval romance genre. So characteristics of medieval romance. They embody the ideas of chivalry. They're always set in a remote time and place. They emphasize rank and social distinctions. They convey a sense of the supernatural. The hero is engaged in pure adventure. They include love, and they feature spontaneous fighting. So stages of a medieval romance. The hero must undertake a dangerous quest. He must face a test to both his honor and courage and return to the point from which his quest began. So he has to come full circle. Poetic devices that you will see in medieval romance poems, there's heavy use of alliteration. Bob and wheel verse, meaning each section ends with a short line called a bob, followed by the wheel, which are longer lines that rhyme. So here's an example. That never should another know of it, the noble swore outright. Then often his thanks gave he with all his heart and might. And thrice by then had she kissed the constant night. Themes. Themes that you will find in medieval romance are tests of character. Again, we're going back to honor, courage, bravery, chivalry. The power of nature to revive or destroy man. And games to prove worthiness. So think about jousting, and the opposition of male and female. There was very specific gender roles that were part of this time period. So I asked you to read Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. Sir Gawain is a young knight ready for a challenge, and the Green Knight is a mysterious figure who proposes a quest. Lord Bursalac allows Gawain to stay at his castle during his quest. Lady Bursalac tempts Gawain. And King Arthur, remember, he is the head of Camelot. Sir Gawain is a knight of the round table in the legends of King Arthur. He is depicted as both a ruthless warrior and a noble and courageous man. As a knight, Sir Gawain would have had to uphold the code of chivalry. So the code for the knights. Sir Gawain would have been expected to adhere to physical and non-physical ideals. Physical ideals for knights. Strength. Skill at arms, meaning they were good at battle, and horsemanship. The non-physical ideals for knights, courage, humility, courtesy, and loyalty. Theories on the meaning of the color green. So every color has associated with it certain characteristics. One thing that is associated with the color green is fertility and rebirth. Also, love. In early English folklore, red, uh, green was also associated with evil or the devil, and it could also indicate death. So if you look at this picture to the bottom right of your screen, this demon here is kind of a green color. So that often indicated something bad. If you think about when people are ill, um, if, if, they, if something green comes out of them, that indicates infection and bad things. So think about it like that. And that's kind of how they got the idea that the devil was there. Because at this time, people often associated being sick or not being well with a curse from hell. So you're probably asking, okay, how can you go from the devil and evil and death and then also fertility and rebirth? If you think about a very cold climate where there is a lot of snow, like England, the spring would come and things would become green and then come back to life. So that's where you get the idea of fertility and rebirth. Also, things that happen in the springtime are indicative of love. Okay, so animals may mate during the springtime and there's a lot of, of happiness and joy around celebrations in the spring because people are coming out of that cold winter slumber. So the color green has got, you know, very two very specific sides to it, the very good and also the very bad. All of these ideas here are seen in Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, which could suggest a focus on the cycle of life or even the transitions from good to evil.